Hi everyone. Welcome to the Gacha Memories Redo. Man, this has been a high energy evening for me after dinner. My uh, family had Burger King and after after my stepdad called me for more fries because Josiah probably don't want any more. I got a little bit high on energy after that. And I started watching some craziness with Violet first. And yeah, and that's why I got all hyped up for SML earlier this evening. So what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna continue with the story of Lilith just brought me to Looney brought me to Looney's house. Looney was Looney was embracing me for a long period of time and she was emotional because she almost thought I was going to die, which of course I didn't. I was lucky not to and we had a little serious meeting about it. Yeah, that is quite the recap. Um this this video is going to end at 10:32 because I was 2 minutes late. I was watching I was on a Mr. Jagerman's Twitch stream, you know, just attending, and then it all of a sudden buffered. So enough of the crap. We're gonna we're gonna head back into the story. All right. I am still high on energy. All right. I look at one of the chairs, and there's a complete school uniform there, clean and smelling nice. Completely with underwear. Yeah, th that was the spot I had to leave on. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm probably just looking at my uniform. I... I don't know if I should feel embarrassed or grateful. It's my exact size. I wear a size large. Doesn't... doesn't... doesn't hurt. Or in this game, I wear a size medium. I'm not even gonna ask. I'll sell for both. <laughs> After taking a bath, I look at the clothes. I still have to try to attend school somehow. Or at least, that is what I think Looney wants to tell me. Anyway. I adorn the clothes given to me and head down to the living room. Good morning again, Travis. Good mor- Good morning, Looney. How are you? Ah, here, here's your breakfast. Well, thank you, Ellie. I appreciate the breakfast. Somehow, Ellie was able to perfectly carry a plate full of sandwiches without visibly effort. She may be an adorable small pixie, but weak, she is not. She's never weak, and she never will be. Thank you, Ellie. I'm feeling much better now. I sit down on the table, and she sets the plate in front of me. Is a, which, of course, is very nice. We already ate. If you were one, if you were wondering, we were just waiting for you to wake up. That's what my family does. Oh? Oh, good morning, Travis. I know exactly who that is. What the? I turn over to the door. To see someone I didn't expect to see so soon. And that is none other than... Mitsuko! Hey there, how are you feeling? I'm feeling just fine, Mitsuko. She moves over to me and quietly snips me. Snips me? I can see her nose twitching as she fusses over me. She doesn't exactly 
seems upset, but her tails are slightly agitated. She knew what happened. M Mitsuko? She gives me a few more sniffs before she backs away, letting out a sigh of relief. Of course. Ah, uh, you don't know. Ah, uh, you don't know how worried I was. Ludi Child here filled me in on what happened. And it happened just after you visited me, too. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did happen. Even I was confused on what was going on as well. Oh, no. Of course she would feel bad about that. Hey, Mitsuko, it wasn't your fault. Me visiting you had nothing to do with what happened to me. Still... Stop blaming yourself. This was the fault of whoever was on that weird coffin Travis saw. Well, I did say I saw, I saw a red coffin in last week's video while I was stuffing my face with cheesecake. should have declined. Alright, but... Easy, easy down, Mitsuko. We already talked about this. Besides, you are here to help us deal with whatever was it that brought Travis over to that plane. Of course, even I'm curious. Yes, I remember that. What can I do to help? It can be anything. I finish eating my breakfast and pay attention to what is about to be discussed. And I, I'm all ears. Unlike Mitsuko. Me and Lilith made some startling discoveries last night. We stayed until late out an analyzing all the data in the Universal GPS collected those last days. Yeah, I remember. She, uh... She probably... She probably took my Universal GPS when I was asleep. I think the most startling one is... I am unable to access the dimension that you're... That you're brought to, Travis. Wait, Looney's not Looney's not allowed to access that dimension? Could be. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. It sounds serious. Not able to access. Hmm. That's that's a certain something. What does that mean? Yeah, that's a good question. From me. As a creator, I'm fairly powerful. I'm not bragging when I when I say I can make reality my plaything. But no matter from which angle I try to enter that plane, something blocks me. Oh man. That's that's not too good. How... How is that possible? I remember fighting Looney when she was corrupted. Her powers are indeed scary. To imagine something that can actually block her. I mean... Yes, yeah, say the least. I might be a goddess, but I'm not... I'm not omnipotent omnipotent and that is exactly what is concerning what would need such a powerful barrier what would need such a strong warning powerful barrier the coffin indeed but more importantly, the barrier seems to be wearing off. So it's like... weakening? 
powerful barriers can keep themselves going for eons. But if but if the being the, that seals but if the being that seals it it is even more powerful or if there was a mistake in its creation somehow. Of course. It would wear down over time. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Moreover, I have reasons to believe those monsters you encountered, Travis, are somehow part of whatever is in that coffin. Indeed. It's insane. It's absolutely crazy. The monsters I've encountered... Mitsuko, I want you to go to Earth with Travis and investigate this incident. Underst I mean, yes, uh, that, that's a great idea. Uh, but I could send Ellie, but she is being a, but she being a fairy and rather small at that would attract the wrong kind of attention. I know you can disguise yourself as a human. Mitsuko, you are a kid soon after all. She is. She most definitely is a kid soon. I was a little surprised at that, but I don't let it get to me. You shouldn't. I should. What about me? You go to school. It's best that you at least pretend everything is alright. After classes in, though. You can join Mitsuko in investigating this phenomenon. Absolutely. Well, alright then. This is important after all. I have no reason to decline this request. There will be no reason. There will be no declining at all. That's the reason. Travis, be careful, alright? Indeed I indeed I will, Ellie. I smile at her, worry, and give her a confident thumbs up. That's what matters. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Well then. Mooney snaps a finger? What? This is a direct access to your room, Travis. I'll spare you on how it works, but essentially, I made a hole from here to there. Exactly. We can't have you risking teleporting again until we confirm what is going on. Mitsuko, you should go with him. Of course, Mitsuko. Come with me, indeed. Well, you brought me here that way, but... To his room? What's wrong with it, Mitsuko? It's... Just a little small. I'm sorry. You need somewhere to stay for now. Right? Don't worry about imposing. You won't actually spend the night here. Just give me a call when you want to come back. Yeah, I won't be... Yeah, I won't stop you. I won't be around to stop you. Well, I don't really mind. I live alone anyway. Let's, let's not make that a big deal. And it's decided. Mitsuko will go to your house whenever she needs to rest. She will be investigating alone when you are at school, and, and after, she will join you. Understood. She then handed a smartphone to Mitsuko. I made this. It contains the same kind of GPS that Travis has, although its reach 
it's weaker due to only being an app. It should be able to point out space-time anomalies, at least. Those things that I fought. I'll do my best. I don't want Travis to be hurt again. I won't be in pain. Nothing will hurt me. I know you don't. We all want that. He is our mutual friend after all. That's true. They don't want their mutual friend to be in a, be in a freak ton of pain when they encountered anomalies. Right? I can't help but feel embarrassed by that. Everyone coming together just because of me. I'm rather touched. I am rather touched. You should be going. It's 25 after 7 now. Unless you want to be late. You probably should leave. Understood, Looney. Right. I have school. Well, bye for now, everyone. Take care, Travis. I mean it. You always mean it, Ellie. I send a smile in her direction. She must have been really worried to visibly show it. Of course. Don't worry, Ellie. I don't plan on getting hurt. Today... Well, I won't... I don't plan on getting hurt today if I can avoid it. Avoid it. I prefer to be with you in this, but a normal human would go crazy if they saw me. I know, and I understand. Don't worry, I'm plenty strong, Ellie. Besides, I will have Mitsuko with me. I won't let anything bad happen to him. You're gonna count on me, Ellie-chan. You can always count on me. Well, I'm more relieved now. But take care, Mitsuko. She'll be safe. Sure. After saying our goodbyes, me and Mitsuko made our way to my room. There was very little to say, but I was kind of in a hurry for time. But I managed to make her comfortable enough before I left. Well, I thought that something might may actually happen, but class went on as on went on and on as usual. Although I mostly zoned out today's lesson because my mind is focused on elsewhere. Like Mitsuko in the investigation of what's been going on. I wonder how Mitsuko's doing. She did say she would head out to do some investigation on her own. And I know she can take care of herself, but Travis! Travis! And I know exactly who those two girls are. Uh... Exactly, it's these two. Cuckoo. Travis. Oh, it's Cuckoo and AoE. Exactly. Hey girls, what is up? She is in senpai mode. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. This must be where she just... Pulls me by the arm and drags me. <laughs> Here we go again with this crap. She said with a sigh. And that explained everything I needed to know. Senpai. He asked us to, to help out with the team again. Come help us. Okay, Cuckoo. I'll come with you guys. I'll come with you girls. Oh boy, when she is like that, refusing is rather hard. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> well, alright then, it's not like I have anything to do immediately. Although, I'll be busy later. It's fine, just as long as you can be there for Senpai. Yes, I will most definitely be there for Senpai Kugari. Cuckoo, don't pressure him into helping us. You heard her. 
but he already accepted. <laughs> I had to say it, didn't I? I had to say it. I guess that's true. Heck it. Whatever. I'll help you guys. Well, what will we be doing today in that case? The same as last time. Moral support and cleaning afterwards? Now come. Now come. I can't make Senpai wait. Alright, alright, I'm coming. Whoa! <laughs> oh boy. I was suddenly taken away by Cuckoo. She is dragging me around by hand. <laughs> She's yanking me by the arm. <laughs> Hey, hey, I can walk! <laughs> but we will be late if you walk! <laughs> Oi, Cuckoo, stop pushing him around! Yes, Cuckoo, please? Can you stop? <laughs> You're too crazy! <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm being dragged all around. Oh my goodness, stop it! Well, how do I explain this? <laughs> How do I explain this? Oh, man. How do I explain this? Go, Kugari Senpai, go! <laughs> oh, I don't even want to read that dialogue. It's too cheery. Oh, crap, there's an ad. She is out of control. You can also make your character is more powerful as well. There are seven different elements. She is out of control. She is. I'm not gonna lie. She is out of control. Oh man. What in the world? I don't know how, but the time it took me to fetch some water for one of the players. It was the time it took Cuckoo to gather two cheerleader pom-poms. She is now yelling around enthusiastically. <laughs> She's insane! She's freaking insane like she was in Gacha Resort. She's freaking insane. Player, se player 07 is requesting water. Go, AoE! Hang in there, Senpai's friend. <laughs> That's how supportive she- that's how crazily support- supportive she can be. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> AoE is under the pressure. Oh my god. K Cuckoo, what happened? Did her obsessive self get more powerful? Oh my god. Her more obsessive self. What does it look like? I'm cheering for the team! Well, well, okay, as long as that's not stopping you. I mean, what triggered th I mean, what triggered this? I mean, that's exactly what I want to know. What the heck triggered this? She was already out of it. Now she seems even more absurd in her obsessive personality. Oh my god. Most definitely. Senpai asked me to help. He even touched my shoulder. I was so happy. I said I would also encourage this team, and he agreed. Wow, I can't believe he actually agreed for someone that Senpai obsessive. Nice going, Kugari Senpai. Really, man, what were you thinking? Don't you know what effect you have on her? <laughs> I mean, yes, of course. What the heck was that all about, man? Why would you do something like this? <laughs> Why would you do something like this, man? I... see. Yay, that was an epic shot, senpai! Yeah, no kidding. She continued to squeal and yell like a teenager, like a teenager girl who meet their idol for the first time. It's a little cute since that's not scary at all, but still a little disconcerting. It is. It is disconcerting. It's so... 
Ooh, it's so ear splitting too. Not going to lie. Her mood can really change on the drop of a hat whenever Kugar is within eyesight of her. Is she even conscious of those mood swings? She actually asked me to help her cheer on the team, but once she realized that that might meant there would be another girl senpai would look at, she changed her mind. Oh my god. It's so freaking crazy. What was she like before Senpai came into the scene? Her normal self. Before he came to talk to us, she hasn't talked about him once. She was actually talking about her favorite shows. Her favorite shows like what? Huh, that's pretty normal actually. But then again, Cuckoo did use used to be norm be a normal teen girl going about her life completely with a normal crush before the corruption went and turned that crush into obsession which was a complete freaking nightmare Travis go get another basketball quickly okay cuckoo on it yes ma'am <laughs> kill me kill me man kill me if anything, when she is like that, she is very efficient. And what she does, not only is the team motivated, but she doesn't let a single occurrence that could bother the team go unchecked. Oh man, I'm almost out of breath. And I'm still high on energy tonight. She is very determined. I'll give her that. Now, if only it was... And something that I didn't make her want to murder Senpai's fangirls. Oh, her demonic obsessive self. That would be definitely one of them. Okay. Practice went swimmingly for the team. Kugari actually complimented Kuku on her management and cheering. Which almost made her faint. After that, I only feel people were left from the were left from the team. Cuckoo was resting on the bench, sweating and with a grin on her face. Aoi was there fanning her and Kugari was talking with two of his teammates about something. Likely basketball related. You know what? I've already talked to girls during the first during the first series. Well, this time, this series is going to be different. So, instead of talking to the girls, I'm going to talk to Senpai. I decided to go over to Kugari and talk with him. His two teammates were who were talking with him waved over to me, which caused him to turn over to me, smiling. <sighs> exactly. I mean, he was mentioned on Gacha Life this past Monday, if you hadn't seen it. Hey, it's Travis. Thanks for the help today. No problem, Kugari. Cuckoo dragged me into this. He said it with a bright smile that would probably light the whole city. Absolutely. You're welcome, Senpai. Although, it took the girls dragging me here for me to help. Even so, you still helped out in the end, didn't you? Well, I did. Not gonna lie. I did. Yeah, you were so focused on playing, we barely had time to take care of ourselves. Yeah, teammate A. Thanks, thanks, for, the, thanks for the moral support. Teammate B, apparently? Thanks, with Kugari pushing us over the edge, someone had to take care of our well-being and equipment. Yeah, I did. Oh, it's 10.32. Come on now, dude. It wasn't that bad, was it? Well, it was worse with Cuckoo. 
Well, it was worse with Cuckoo being so crazy and obsessive, of course. You made us learn passes and feints for the for at least 30 different scenarios. Just today is less than two hours. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Almost knocked my phone out of my hand. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. If I may, I personally think that being prepared for nothing is better than not being prepared for something. That's a fact. You heard him. If we meant if we meant to win this year's tournament, we gotta get ready. We most definitely do. You sure you sure know how how to sparks his spirits, uh, Travis? Yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Well, I didn't do anything special. I'm just seeing you guys talk amongst each other. <laughs> yep, that's what that's what I did. Phone fell. Revelry fell. Well, we all knew that we all knew what we were getting into when we signed up for this team. Still, I'm exhausted. And I don't blame you guys. You did incredible. You both did. For sure. Hey Kukari man. We will be going. See ya. See see you guys. Sure, take care. Tomorrow we will continue to we will continue where we left off. Understood. Well, Travis, you alright there? I heard Cuckoo was pushing you guys pretty hard. Yeah, I'm gonna save that then. It's already two minutes past 10.32. Should have been done by now. <sighs> I don't know how to make this title out. Mitsuko returns. Cuckoo. Oh my god, Cuckoo. Cuckoo drives me insane. And everything else. Now my high energy is about to go down. Uh, that's it for Gacha Memories Redo. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'm gonna get off here. Stay tuned for an SMG4 reaction video tomorrow at noon. And we can toy blast. Alright, have yourselves a good night.